Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Chris Hayes here. I know you must be going insane right now, either being stuck in quarantine or you're going to be in quarantine soon or you're at home and you can't get to a gym. So I know home workouts can be boring and repetitive. So I'm here to show you today how you can maximize your workouts at home all with one suitcase. So one thing that has become very normal, especially in 2020, is home workouts. And we can all agree they suck and they're boring. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can use one of these for resistance training um, at home. All right, so the first exercise is going to be a bench press with our bag. So you can use whatever sort of type of bag you have for this exercise. For this one, it's a good one because it's got many handles on the front, so you can use it in many different ways, but you can use the normal square ones with the four wheels on it. So, what we're gonna do for this one is, obviously, depending on your strength level, you can either add more clothes or less clothes into it. This one's around 20 odd kilos, it's just what it came off the plane as, so I'm just leaving it. Um, but obviously, this all depends on your strength level, so make sure you adjust the bag. Also, one thing, if you can't get it heavy enough, then you're going to slow down the rep and then explode back up, all right? For all the guys out there that are pretty strong, if it's simply you can't get enough weight in it, then there are ways around that. You can increase your reps and also go slow on the way down and explode on the way up. So the way to get into this exercise, lay your back on the floor, get your bag as so. All right, have your arms nice and steady. Again, if it's not heavy enough, slow on the way down, explode on the way back up, all right? And if you're still not getting any burn or feeling anything by the end, then you're just going to increase your reps. So for me, I have been doing around five sets of about 20 reps, and trust me, by the end, you will feel the burn in your chest. All right, so the next one's going to be a shoulder press. So again, it all depends on the type of bag you have. If you have the big square bag with the four wheels, it can be a little bit harder, this one. But this one has multiple handles, so it does make it easier. Again, with this one, if it's a huge chunky bag, make sure you're just not bending that back a lot. All right, so you wanna make sure you're looking after that back. This same rule applies for if the weight isn't heavy enough, you're going slower on the way down, explode on the way back up. All right, so you're simply gonna grab the bag, like so. All right, keeping it back as straight as you can, coming up to the top, and then back down. All right, so on this one, explode up, slow on the way down, okay? Same thing again, if you can get through, I think 20 reps would be too high for this type of exercise, but if you can get through at least 12 reps of going slow down, then you're doing good, all right? And remember for the girls, if it's too heavy, just take some weight out, easy done. All right, so the next one is going to be a front squat, a popular one with the women because they love to squat and they love to lunge. Really good for the legs. So if you do have a bag that you can hug, perfect. If you just have the big square one, this might be a little bit more challenging. Maybe find a backpack that you can put water bottles or books or whatever you can find inside it. So this one we're gonna hug, keep it nice and close to our chest, like so. Really driving and forcing that into our chest. The closer to the body, the better, just so we don't put any strain on our back. And then we're coming down, squatting all the way down and coming back up. Again, if the weight is too light, you can go slower on the way down and explode on the way back up. All right, so make sure to keep that nice and close. Again, if the weight is too heavy, take it out. If you can't get it heavy enough, then just make that rep a little bit slower on the way down. Again, increase your reps and your sets. Five sets of 20 and you will be feeling the burn in your legs. The next one is going to be a lunge, another popular one, just like the squat for the girls. Um, so this one, we're actually gonna use the suitcase a little differently. We're gonna put it on our shoulder. You can choose the style of hugging it and then lunging forward if you would like. But adding the weight onto one side of our body engages our core more, so therefore it has to activate more to keep you up steady. All right, so this is quite a big suitcase to put on the shoulder, but it works. So you're just going to pop that up onto the shoulder, all right, and then adding that weight onto the one side of your shoulder is going to cause your body to lean, so therefore engaging that core more, and then we're just going to lunge forward, 
and then come back. You can even choose to lunge back if you want as well, all right? Lunging forward gets more of the front of the leg and lunging backward gets more of the glute. So it all depends what you want to do. And this one is not slowing the rep going forward, just do a little pulse at the bottom and then just lunging back. And again, five sets, 10 reps each leg and you'll be feeling it for sure. Now you've seen all the exercises that you can use with a bag like this. They are the most common. Of course, they are a few more you can do, but they're the most effective, I believe, for what you can do in a hotel quarantine. So we can all agree that bodyweight workouts can get really repetitive and boring. So the way I like to fix that is to do short, sharp workouts. So no one's going to go here and do push-ups, burpees, and sit-ups for 25 minutes straight with no break, all right? It's just boring and we won't get through it, especially in an environment like we are here. It's very easy to just lay on the bed and watch Netflix all day. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a workout cycle called Tabata, which is 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So what that can involve is you can pick push-ups, burpees, sit-ups, whatever ones you want, squats, lunges, However advanced you are in your training, you can pick whatever you like to do. So you're basically gonna set the timer, you're gonna do 20 seconds of push-ups, and then you're gonna rest for 10 seconds, all right? Say you get 10 push-ups done in that 20 seconds of work, you're gonna try and get close or match that each round. Do that for about three to four rounds, and then once you've done that four times, move on to your sit-ups or move on to your burpees or squats or lunges. If you pick four exercises and do four rounds through, have a rest of about two minutes after the four exercises and then do it again, that'll equate to around 16 minutes of total work time. So you're not gonna do that 16 minutes straight up, you're going to uh, do it all in little increments. So therefore the workout doesn't feel like such a drag and it, it feels a bit easier mentally to get done. All right guys, I hope I've given you some inspiration and some ideas for your hotel quarantine style workout. Definitely doing it with a suitcase is not your typical quarantine workout. A lot of them are just sort of go, 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 push-ups, burpees, you know, whatever there may be in the workout. So I hope I've given you some cool ideas to mix it up in your hotel quarantine. I hope it does go fast for you if you are in quarantine. I'm currently in quarantine now on day six, so going day by day here, but so far so good. So as always guys, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It definitely does help out. And also subscribe if you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.